The Kenya National Trading Corporation Managing Director Pamela Mutua, among other KNTC officers and bank officials, were today arrested and grilled for hours at the DCI headquarters in connection to the 16.5 billion shilling edible oil scandal. They are expected to be arraigned to face economic crime and abuse of office charges this week. In a sting concurrent trade, the suspects were picked from the KNTC offices and bank respectively before being interrogated for hours at DCI headquarters along Kiambu Road. Investigations revealed that the probe is set to reveal how KNTC managed to secure funds and whether the import of edible oils and sugarcane, among other items, was done in a proper manner. A detective preview with the probe intimated to the informer media group, quote-unquote, we are investigating whether money was lost. We want to establish how KNTC secured funds and whether the import of the food items, which include edible oils and sugar, among other items, was done in a proper way. Upon completion of the investigation, the DCI is expected to forward a case file to the office of the DPP for the next step. This comes after last month, EACC launched a probe into the alleged embezzlement of public funds at the KNTC through the irregular award of tenders and delivery of food commodities for the financial year 2022-2023 and 2023-2024. In a letter signed by the director in charge of investigations, Pascal Mueu, the anti-graft agency requested the corporation to provide how they approved the budget and procurement plans for the financial year 2022-2023 and 2023-2024. The letter which is copied to KNTC Managing Director Pamela Mutua read in part, quote-unquote, to facilitate the investigation, kindly provide us with all the original documents listed below in relation to the procurement of the food commodities. President William Bruto ordered investigations into the finances of three senior-ranking government officials implicated in the loss of millions through the inflation of prices of edible oils. Through his own initiative, the head of state negotiated a contract with the cooking oil manufacturers on the understanding that this would bring down the cost of the 125,000 metric tons of edible oil, which is part of a strategy to tame the high cost of basic commodities. Ruto later reported the three officers inflated the price by an average of seven shillings per litre, thus negating the original intention of Kenya importing the cooking oil. A former trade CS Moses Kure defended the questionable deal, saying it was above board. Recently, while being grilled by legislators in parliament, Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mithika Linturi indicated that millions were lost. A nine-month investigative expose by the Informa Media Group, published and broadcasted less than a fortnight ago, reveal a blow-by-blow -blow account how the lucrative multi-billion tenders were dished out to a select few companies with that competitive tendering process. As Mutu and other suspected accomplices were being grilled at Mazingira House, a heated session before the Senate played out as senators demanded for physical confirmation of the whereabouts of the claimed 16.5 billion shilling edible oil imports. The Senate Committee on Trade and Investment Committee, which is carrying out a parallel probe, was forced to adjourn prematurely until senators are shown the location of imported cooking oil brought into the country by KNTC to cushion Kenyans from high prices. It emerged that top officials within the Ministry of Trade and Investment are still unaware of the location of the imported cooking oil. I read senators just away trade and investment CS Rebecca Miano, who had appeared before the committee accompanied by principal secretaries and head of departments in the ministry to disclose their whereabouts of the imports. Miano was unceremoniously forced out after she requested the committee to shelve the matter as the KNTC MD failed to appear as she was arrested by DCI sleuths and was being grilled at the time. Senators decried that they are being taken in suckers over the matter accusing KNTC MD for failing to physically establish if indeed the cargo came in and was indeed stored at the warehouse during their visit in industrial area. Busia Senator Okia Umtata said, quote unquote, I felt like our inquiry wasn't welcomed and everything is being done to frustrate our investigations to make sure that the matter goes undetected. If you can prosecute the oil, we go for Christmas. I will not be able to sit in this meeting. End of quote. Kiambu Senator Karungo Thangwa said the session could not continue without a physical confirmation that the oil imports were indeed in the warehouses. Thangwa said, quote unquote, we need to see this oil. I'm sure even 
the cabinet secretary may not be sure if the imports are still in the warehouse. Let's just dismiss this meeting so that this department can take us with the seriousness that is deserved. End of quote. Samburu Senator Steve Tumbesi insisted that the matter should not be taken lightly as there might be lots of hundreds of millions of shillings through inflation of prices of imported edible oil. Tumbesi posed, quote unquote, if it will force us to call the former trade minister, then I think we'll have to do that because Kenyans are asking us, where is the cheaper oil that you promised? A whistleblowing document filed in the National Assembly shows that the KNTC contracted Malta Commerce FZC for 8.12 billion shillings to supply vegetable oil and Indian white rice, while Standard Petroleum won a 5.5 billion shilling deal to supply rice, red kidney pinto beans, cooking fat and fertilizer. On the other hand, Lama Commodity Trading was awarded 2.7 billion shilling tender to supply NPK fertilizer, while Charma Holdings Limited was awarded 2 billion shilling tender to supply edible vegetable oil. Others are Makram Imports and Export Limited, with a 1.88 billion shilling tender for the supply of Indian raw white rice. Shehana Company Limited supplied jerrycans of edible oil at 1.33 billion shillings, and Nutrivan with 187 million shillings to supply rice. While appearing on the floor of the House, a former Trade, Industry and Investments Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria absolved KNTC from any wrongdoing. Kuria is now serving as the CS for Public Service, Performance and Delivery Management. He was succeeded by Miano in the trade docket.